The celebration 30 days in the making is happening within Metro Atlanta's Muslim community. Thousands are celebrating the end of Ramadan, the time of year when many Muslims don't eat or drink when the sun is up. Atlanta News First, Yasmina Olson is live tonight in Norcross in a mosque. Yasmina, Ramadan is used as a time for Muslims to improve themselves. It is and also a time of prayer and reflection and we were actually invited into this mosque here in Norcross where the focus this Ramadan was also peace and an end to violence. Please join me in dua. It's focused on uh, prayers, spirituality, uh, giving alms to the poor. And today marks the end of Ramadan, a time when Muslims fast from sunrise to sunset in order to reflect and pray and do good. We traditionally hug each other uh, during uh, after Eid. We say Eid Mubarak, you know, that's our traditional way of saying uh, happy Eid. Eid al Fitr celebrates the end of the fast. Inside the Beit al Atta Mosque, it was a joyous occasion filled with love and light, prayer, and messages of peace. Although it's a joyous occasion, but uh, it is. Uh, tinged with sadness for us to this year because of the suffering. Nasir Humayun says their focus during this Ramadan was the Voices for Peace campaign, calling for an end to violence and suffering amid ongoing conflict in Gaza. To uh, talk about immediate ceasefire, to raise awareness about the suffering faced by the Palestinians in Gaza, and uh, to end the bloodshed, uh, to encourage everybody to see the humanity, the common humanity, and to protect the innocent civilians. Humayun says the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community, USA, is the oldest American Muslim organization, and their goal is to be a safe space for everyone. We believe in God, we believe in doing good, uh, and we want our neighbors to come and meet us, is to uh, form communication, to open dialogue, and to make sure everybody understands uh, that at the basic human level, we are all the same. And the doors at the Batul Atta Mosque are always open for those wanting to learn more about the Muslim community. Live in Norcross, Yasmina Alston, Atlanta News First. And today